All right, Jason, Sparks, I hope you guys used your brains on this illustrative tattoo. Oh, yeah, ready. You have six hours, and your time starts now. Slow and steady wins the race. Jason and Sparks have to do illustrative. I love that style. You got to draw it from scratch, created from your own mind. That, to me, is true artistry. Let's get the party started. I chose illustrative because I can draw, and I know Jason has a rough time with pencil and paper. I'm coming for you, dude. Sparks is a idiot. There's nothing that he can do that I'm not capable of doing better. Ooh. You bugging out today? I am bugging out yeah? today. Yeah? I like doing bug tattoos, mostly because there's a lot of different textures in them. You feel good about illustrative in general? I don't do it. Really, I do portraits now. I used to. When I first started tattooing, I did stuff like this. And I think that's why Sparks called me out Probably. for not drawing. I mean, it's a pretty you know? good gameplay. But uh, he's stupid if he thinks I can't draw. I kind of excel at everything that I do. One pole trophies, dart trophies, shuffleboard trophies. You came to play. Mm, I came to win. Sparks is going to come at me as hard as he can, but this is the winning tattoo. This thing's so clean, looks like I'm tattooing with dish soap over here. Yeah, my mouth doesn't do tattoos, so I'm just going to keep doing this and stop talking to you. Don't look like your hand does tattoos, either. Angel and Jimmy, are you guys ready to get this grudge match going? Yep. Yeah. Angel, you called black and gray realism. You guys have six hours to complete this grudge match tattoo, and your time starts now. Perfect. Jimmy better be ducking and weaving, because Angel's throwing everything she's got at him with this black and gray tattoo. Awesome. I'm doing a realistic black and gray horse. It's gonna look like he's coming at you. He's actually coming off of the skin. It's really gonna show off my best tricks. And the attention to detail in this is gonna be perfect. Ready? Yep, let's do it. All right. This is what she does every day. She's gonna knock him out. Black and gray realism is not my strong suit. So going into this tattoo, I just have to play it smart. I want to make sure that I could show off texture and something that looks and feels lifelike. You do a lot of this stuff? Huh? No. I set up like 19 machines. Yeah, I'm looking at I it, was, dude. Because got... I was stressed out. Sometimes you find yourself in a different situation that you're not used to being in. In life, you need to adapt. And that's what I'm doing with this tattoo. Oh, shit, Jimmy. That's not how you do it. Why? Well, what happens if I do it this way? Do I win? No. <laughs> you guys got three hours left. Halfway, speed it up. What do you think? I'm super surprised right now with Jimmy. What I was expecting from him and what that tattoo is looking like right now, two completely different artists. I'm pretty impressed. Over to Angel. Her horse looks great. It looks great, Dude, but she's got to pump the contrast on that thing. She's going to put a background on it, but she hasn't even started the background yet. She still has time to finish it, and Jimmy still has time to f it up. <laughs> How'd you come up with this idea? Honestly, I've never done a dragon claw before and figured, well, why not? My design is a dragon claw, but I want it to look really gnarly. So it's got armor plating on it, and it's ripped off. If this is my one chance to come back and prove I got it, then I might as well do something big and powerful. Losing isn't an option. I have too much on the line to prove and show what I can really do. All right, we are officially at the halfway point. Three hours down, three hours remain. That clock's ticking away, and my main focus is to just make sure everything is as smooth and flowy as possible while hauling ass through this thing. Oh, your canvas over there is thinking, damn, I got the wrong guy. Broken dragon leg, broken tattoo. I would be more focused on finishing your shit. I'm almost done, actually. Look at him, he's scared. I'm yeah. not an idiot. He thought about it, though. He was like, is he, he, is he with me right now? What's up, Angel? You outlining over there? <laughs> you know, for once, you're not outlining. I'm not. All right, guys, gets to cranking. 60 frickin' minutes! 
12 years of tattooing doesn't mean shit right now. Because in this competition, you get thrown stuff that you're never gonna get thrown in your everyday comfortable life with your appointments and whatever. So there's no way that I'm comfortable. I have a lot to prove here. Home stretch, bro. We can do it. darker with the main. It's just gonna hold better. I'm changing course because I want there to be a ton of contrast in my tattoo. I want it to have a punch. I want it to have weight. I want you to be able to see it from across the room. You changed the photo. You changed from your reference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. As a tattooer, you have to be able to think on the fly. Sometimes you make an image that you think is gonna work perfectly, and it's not always the best way to do it. So you have to be able to, you know, compensate a little bit. You're still gonna put that background in behind the main? Not as much. On the fly choice is smart. All right, guys, you got five, four, three, two, one. That's it, guys, put your machines down. Guess what? All set? Yeah, man. I feel good. I love this thing. I had faith in you the whole time. Don't worry. <laughs> Killed it. <laughs> Woo! Cool. Well, that looks really good. You sat like a beast. I'm impressed. You're impressed? Yeah, dude. I wanted it to be close. It would suck if you just lost, like, really badly. Well, I wasn't going to let that happen. Mm -hmm.